All right, so in the rear foot elevated split squat, this is a great exercise for engaging the quads. Now, the first thing we want to do is know that, all right, this is a progression. We can make this easier for somebody by simply taking their foot off the back uh, or the elevation. Now, if they've never done a rear foot elevated split squat and that's programmed in the workout, have them do a split squat first. So, in this case, we'll assume that Corey's done it. So, Corey, what I'm going to have you do is put your foot on top of that here. And when you're finding the perfect height for this, ideally his foot would be a little bit higher. Um, it's not right now, but that's fine. The front leg, we want about a 90 degree angle, or his knee just a little bit over his ankle. Either way, it's going to be fine. And then again, his torso can be straight to a little bit tilted forward. Okay, if we want to add more weight to this, he can hold a kettlebell right here in front of him. So from here, I'm going to, now that he's in position, I'm going to have you dig that back foot uh, right into that, and then go ahead and stand up through that front heel. Cool. Excellent. All right. So now, go ahead and hold your, it's hard, right? Cool. So go ahead and get back into that position. All right. Cool. All right. So now hop out a few steps. So there we go. All right. So now go ahead and drop that back knee until you're at about 90 degrees. Good. And then stand tall. Excellent. And then good. And repeat right through that motion. Down and then right up. And try and keep those hands off your knee. What I would say is almost do like praying hands. There you go. Right down and right up. So notice it's all right if his knee comes forward a little bit. It's all right if he's got a little forward tilt there. As long as his knee's not, his knee's not going way over his toe, that is fine. Cool. That is how you do a rear foot elevated split squat.